Hey Raven users, Jamie Z here. I'm gonna walk you through all my favorite new features in Raven 3.7. The first big feature is batch gestures. So with this, previous gestures, each gesture was a single key command. So I had to go right, down, highlight, rotate left, rotate right, out and up. Every single move was a key command. And all of our gestures and key commands were handled in UPDD gestures. So each item was set to a key command. And now with batch gestures, our batch commands with multiple key commands are triggered by gestures. So in the settings, under default, under the gestures tab, you'll notice all your gesture panels here. And the great feature with this is these gesture panels don't actually need to be shown. So you could put other features in here. And even though all of my three finger and four finger gestures are on this layout, they will still fire off. So zoom in is now just a three finger right instead of right and down. Three finger left zooms out. So right zoom in. Highlight, break and mute is now one single key command. Instead of having to rotate left to break and right to mute, now rotate left does both those key commands. I could undo, undo, and now trim and fade will be rotate right. Here's our fades in right there. We could even delete these fades with forefinger up, redraw them in like that, undo, zoom out. So that's quick editing. Another great one with the batch gesture is you swipe from the right and now it brings up your volume lane and it selects the pencil tool so you can draw in. Then swipe from the left, puts us back to the universal tool and the main volume line. We'll switch to layout two. This is our quick recording. So I'll select our record track. I'll zoom in to make them big. Four up is going to record and input monitor. Three finger tap to record. Two finger tap to stop. Three down to double. And stop. And four down to triple. Rotate left is undo and record. Rotate right makes a new playlist and record. For left goes to the top and record. For right duplicates the track. Unrecord enables. Record enables again. Starts recording. Three up to enter record. Swipe from the left makes eight tracks. Swipe from the right can make four tracks or it can name the tracks. Now let's switch to the very cool audio suite layout on layout three. So here, here's all my audio suite and gestures, but I'm not showing the rack. Just highlight this, zoom in, reverse this with a rotate right. And then slow this part down with a rotate right. And denoise this section with a four finger left. Opens up the RX audio suite, selects a preset, renders it. That's declip, denoise with the right. Opens up the audio suite and renders it with the preset. Switch to layout four. And now we have our fader groups. So four up shows my drums, four right is gonna show my music. Four down is gonna show my vocals. Four left is gonna show all the tracks. Another great feature too is the mix window. Now, works with 10 inserts. And when you add an extra set of inserts, it moves the fader caps down. So now we can support 15 inserts in Pro Tools. Also, we can show the EQ curve. So 
So finally, the last great feature that I'm very into is the auto save. So as you can see, layout one, I had moved my stuff around. Layout two, I was showing this rack. Layout three, layout four. Now when I quit the Raven software, I can save it. And now when we open Raven back up, that's automatically going to be my user default. I don't need to make it the default anymore. So there's my layout too, with my stuff saved.